Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to my World of Warcraft series and I'm on the final part of the Ring of Blood now with an actual group, real group. It's really easy with a full group actually. And some of these people are like level 69 and pretty damn geared. But yeah, I figured we get the last fight in. Everyone's not on the same part. People really rush too much, but um, I'm not the one who started this. Someone else did. So we have to face the true champion now, Mogor. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. And we're not getting bothered by the horde. It's probably good that we're doing it right this second. Hopefully we don't get slaughtered like right now. Yeah, I would like to do a dungeon after this. If we can. Alright. He's not that's not the end, guys. It's not the end. Like resurrects. As you can see though, it's extremely easy with a group of five. Um, it's actually possible to solo this. I remember on my paladin, when I leveled up um, a, a paladin tank, it was soloable back in the day. And I think I may have done it on a death knight before as well. Alright, so let's hand this in. Very hard, though. Please, something good. Come on. What is there for me? Is there is there not a bow? Mace. Fist weapon. Oh, man. I really thought there was going to be something for me. That's really sad. Alright, what's worth the most? I guess 10 gold. Honed Void Axe. It's pretty cool, too. So, yeah. Um, we finished. So, I'm sorry to everyone else. And sadly, I don't get that Void Axe to do anything with the Void Axe. But this is what it looks like. I always thought this one was a cool one. It looks awesome, right? It's like see-through. Pretty cool. Anyways, I'm going to leave the party, guys. I'm sorry. All right, guys. We are doing the crypts now. Q went instant. Awesome. That is great. So, yeah, we just finished Ring of Blood. I didn't get anything, but it's a good amount of experience. The amount of experience you get from it is like over 100,000, I think, for the whole, like, quest chain. It's really great. So you should always make sure to do Ring of Blood when you're in a grand. Um, Zorbo, the advisor, is like right over here. Should I, should I just run in there? Do you think I have a chance to kill him before, before... Never mind. The answer was no. I didn't have time. Okay, so we are in the next dungeon. And I've got the quest right here from the spirit. The Dead Watcher. Kill Shirek, the Dead Watcher, then return to the Draenei spirit. And the end of the... Of the Exarch... Kill Exarch Malandar and return to the Draenei spirit inside the Ochenai Crypts. Anything for me here? Yes. Yes. Lots of sockets too. And a good amount of experience. Let's do it. I'm ready. This is actually a really quick dungeon from what I remember. It's It doesn't take very long. Especially if they're pulling that many. It's going to go really quick assuming that they don't like die. It'll go a little quicker, a little slower if they die. Yeah, that is a big Everyone has aggro but me. So he's oh god, now I'm about to grab it too. So many mobs. I think it's really easy to aggro a lot though here, like not on purpose too. Because look, everything's like in one big room. It's kind of like a big cluster of mobs. How am I doing? Last place? Nice. Nice job, Pat. But yeah, let's take a look at the map. Um, It's up. To okay, it's two, two rooms. And there. Psh pretty easy to not get lost but that's the thing about burning crusade dungeons you really can't get lost it's almost impossible and we're, we're 65 I don't think we'll hit 66 yet but should get at least a nice jump at it I got so much from ring of blood though I th I'm pretty sure I was just like right at the beginning right I was exactly at the beginning and I got one two three I got six bars from it it's pretty good and luckily today, there was no horde around killing us. Because yesterday, or whatever day it was, we were getting slaughtered. I couldn't even, I'm sorry I couldn't record it. It was just awful. It was like, death, 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 death. This has got a, a kite. It's kind of cool, actually. It's the Yulan kite. I'm not sure where that's from. All I know is I don't have one. I'm actually kind of interested in what events are going on right now in, um... In Warcraft, I haven't checked in a while. I haven't, I haven't really done them because I've already done most of them in the past. Check out the old calendar. Oh, the Lunar Festival began. I finished. I did the Lunar Festival already. That's one I've done. So yeah, there isn't. There's no point in doing it. Basically, though, all you have to do is find like the elders in like every dungeon. I'm not sure if there's one in this specific one, but it's in almost every dungeon in all over the world. It's good experience too, so I should probably check up on them at least when I'm in towns. Alright, let's throw down a trap. 
I feel like I'm getting more aggro than I would like. Alright, feign death. This is not one of my favorite dungeons, by the way. It's not. Because there's so much of this. It's hard to control it all. I'm rooted. Try to get that, guys. Run over there. So many mobs. Alright, let's see. Did I get anything good here? I think we've already, like, passed, like, the whole, like, first level of the place. Very quickly. Yeah, we did. No bosses on this level. There's only two bosses in this dungeon. It's one of the few dungeons that only has two bosses. He's checking the map, too. I like that. <laughs> Always reminds me of RuneScape, though, because they had that way before. I'm sure lots of games have, though. Shirek, Dead Watcher, and then, um, Exiarch Meldar. If you do all the quests in, um, it's called? In the ground, you actually get a special quest for this place. But you have to have, like, Magar, not Magar or Kiranai, whatever side you're on. I'm not sure if it's both Horde and Alliance, though. Um, it might just be Horde only. I could be wrong. You get a cool quest for this place that gets, like, a lot of experience. And a lot of reputation with the Magar. Not that we're going to be doing that. You have to do, like, every quest in the zone. That's really a lot of work. He's trying to remember the rotation, he said. He hasn't played in a while. See, you know, I don't even worry about that kind of stuff, usually. <laughs> I just hit whatever seems like, you know, would make the most sense. You don't have... I don't, but I guess if you're in, like, the, obviously the hard mode stuff, then you have to really be, uh, more serious about that. But no, any regular raids, you should be fine. You don't really have to memorize any rotation or anything. I never have, and I've been in raiding guilds before, so... Same thing with the talent trees. I usually just go with whatever makes the most sense. I hate looking up that stuff. I, I like to, you know, it's more fun to go with what you think makes the most sense. Usually, if you, it's almost the same exact thing anyway, because whatever makes the most sense usually is the best thing. So, hey, so, oh, plans. I see. Fell steel gloves. wonder what they're worth. Oh, raging soul. Probably gotta get rid of that. It's raging. I can't stop it. And I've been knocked back. Oh, cool, do it at the end. That's one of the bosses we need for the quest. I just realized that was I was hitting um Serpent's thing instead of Arcane Shots. Alright. And we're getting a reputation with Lower City and just with the Alliance in general, so that's probably good. The thing is, when I used to play during the Burning Crusade, I never got my reputation with the Lower City high enough to do the heroics for here, so... I'm not sure if that's if you still have to get the key. I think you do. Yeah, but you have to have a certain reputation to buy the key. Is how it works. And I think it was uh, it was honored. Maybe you have to be. I'm not sure, but I think it was honored. If not, it was like revered or something. Might be revered for the key. So it actually was a lot of work back then to do the heroics. Now, when you do a heroic, you just you know you hit the item level and you're ready to go. So things have changed quite a bit in World of Warcraft over the years. Why did I start that before? Okay, my bad. I got a little excited and I hit the button. Alright, let's see how much damage we can we can do in this battle. Trying to get a lot, trying to catch back up. Serpent Stank. I wonder if he'll drop anything. I can't even imagine what he would drop, really. It's hard to even think about it. He's a giant face. What could he possibly drop? And he dropped a sword. Like, where did that sword come from? Maybe someone he ate. Ooh, that is a cool sword. That is a cool sword, I have to say. I like it. I actually kind of want it. Just, you know, just for safekeeping. It's cool. Put it in the bank. Cool purple sword. Sadly, I can't do anything with it. Can't really transmog or anything. Someone rolled needle on it and rolled a one. They probably just wanted it too, to be honest. But no, the dungeon's almost over. This is a really short dungeon. If I check the map, yeah, we just need to go through here and then the final boss. I believe the final boss has like mind controls and stuff though. Oh yeah, there are so many skeletons coming up. There's a lot. Do I have aggro now? Good. Good. Don't want to have aggro. Get down. Little trap. I should actually probably do um, multi-shot. 
getting a lot of damage out right now. And a lot of reputation, too. I feel like I haven't done this dungeon in a long time. The next one after this is Escape from Journal Keep. Or it's just called Escape from Journal, I'm not sure. That one's pretty awesome. That's like an epic dungeon. I'm excited to do that one. And I think we're high enough for the quest, so that might be good. It's like an interesting one, you know, where it's like there's like escorts and stuff and storyline. That's what makes it a little more interesting than um, ones like this. I do like how that WoW mixes in dungeons like that, but it does make it more exciting, definitely. Fain death. We may do that next time. I gotta see um, what zone. Ooh, a lot of stuff that went there, huh? Bold living ruby. When people used to use this stuff, I remember. Someone will probably need on it. Nah. Still lost. No, but what, um, let's just do this. Zooming out. All right, so Blade's Edge is 65. Oh, we can go to Blade's Edge Mountains. That is true. All right, the other ones are 67. No, we can go to Blade's Edge whenever. There's a bunch of quests there. I like Blade's Edge Mountains. It's kind of cool, and a lot of people won't do it anymore. You won't see that many people there when you head there. And it's kind of like an interesting looking zone. And that's where Grohl's Lair is. Ah, I remember when we used to have to head there for the raids. That was a long time ago, though. I did Girl's Lair. Um, when I, I'm the last guild that I owned, like, um, it was during Cataclysm. We did it, you know, we do transmog stuff, you know, old raids for fun. Because that's about all I'm capable of, of leading. The truth. That's the truth there. That's all I'm capable of leading because I don't remember fights and stuff very well. And we did that, and that place was freaking, it, was, it wasn't even easy. It was hard. It was hard. There were so many, like, status effects and stuff, because we didn't have, like, any strategy. We just kind of ran in there and started fighting. And then Jen, she, like, I don't even know what happened to her. There was, like, a glitch, and she fell through the ground. Like, through the ground, and just, eventually, she just died. It was weird. But, yeah, I was, I was tanking, I think, on my paladin. And I was, I couldn't even move the whole time. I was, like, status effect and shit all over the place. It was ridiculous. I couldn't do anything. It was a good time, though. I used to run a lot of stuff like that because, um, you know, I tried to keep the guild interesting, and I couldn't, like, um, I wasn't one to run the real raids. We eventually did have people that led them, but, um, I would do the transmog ones, and it was, you know, was interesting. I didn't even know where the hell I was going, what I was doing at all, but at least it gave us the guild achievements. If our guild ever does get big enough, um, I would prefer to have other people running that stuff. Just because with me, it goes ridiculous every time, I swear. I'm not sure that it will, though. I feel like I get a new one of you guys, though, friending me every day on, um, on the friend thing. Real ID. I've got a lot of friends now. I'm trying to scroll. That's kind of a lot, right? I've got, like, I've had, like, 20 people add me. All right, next. Exgeorge Maladar. I think he mind controls people. I don't remember exactly, but that's what I'm remembering when I'm thinking back to the past. So we'll just own this dude. Oh, I should probably use my trinkets, huh? Alright, there we go. Am I standing in poison? I don't even know what that was. Oh, that was probably from the move I did, actually. And he's down. Now, here's his, like, big set. Bring it me. Ooh, hold on. One sec. Um, I have 11 agility. Um, 17 agility is... It's hard to say, really. It's probably better than 11 critical. 6 agility better than 11 critical? It may be. I'm just going to grab it just in case. It's hard to say at this level. I don't know the exact math without, like, taking them on and off, if you know what I mean. All right, we finished, though. Whoa, we have finished it. Awesome. All right, now how the hell do we get back? Is there a, is there a quick way back? There's not in this one, huh? All right, so we are going to teleport out and teleport back in. Hand in those quests, guys. I'm excited. Going to get some good experience. And I think there was some gear for me, too. Oh, yeah, I forgot I was right here. Let me get up a little higher just in case. Just in case there's someone bad around. I think I just saw someone, like, behind the tree. I don't know if you saw that. All right, let's hand these in. The Dead Watcher. Perhaps now we can finally be at peace. I hope so. You've done our realm a great service. You will not be forgotten. And there's 30 agility compared to 21, plus 12 hit. So this is a big improvement. Plus, a so if I put the sockets on, it's, like, going to be sick. All right, let's get this stuff on. Um, I'm going to try really hard right now to see the difference between the rings. If I can find the ring. Where is the ring? 
Okay, there it is. What did I open? <laughs> I'm getting everything confused. I play too many games. All right, so right now, um, what I'm doing is 134 damage, and I critical is 14.31. 130. So it goes up two damage. 13.31. Eh, I think it's better. The critical really doesn't move up much at all from that. So yeah, we're going with that. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Um, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.